Hi, this is Cedric Honstadt. I am coming to you from outside of uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, I've been traveling. Uh, I'm part of the National Cartoonist Society, and our chapter covers several states. And about once a year, we all get together for a, a big weekend where we bring in speakers and we do cartooning events and we socialize and hang out. And it's a lot of fun. And this this year, our keynote speaker was a, a guy named Steve Brodner. He's a, a New York illustrator. He's won lots of awards. His his work is really amazing. I, he does, uh, well, I'd, I'd put an example of his work up for you, but I'm in the car, so I can't do that. But he does a lot of caricatures of political figures and does a lot of political illustration. Uh, actually, I can show you something. He, um, uh, he, we went out to eat last night, and he brought a sketchbook. Uh, we were all sitting at this big table at a restaurant, and he was doodling and noodling around the whole time. And afterwards, he came up, he said, can I show you something? And uh, he had done a, 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 a quick doodle portrait of me while I was sitting there, uh, while I was sitting there eating, I thought that was really cool. Um, I really like this. I'm going to frame this and put this up in my studio, uh, put it on the wall with some other artwork I have from other artists. Uh, it was really neat. That was really nice of him to do. So anyway, he uh, he gave a presentation, and he uh, uh, he's like I said, he does a lot of political work, and he's uh, very le he's definitely a, a left wing guy, and so a lot of the artwork tended to portray a lot of right wing politicians in very negative light and after the talk was over he did a Q&A and I raised my hand and I said um, uh, I said with America being so divided and with all of us living in these bubbles uh, who is your target audience are you uh, aiming this mostly at people kind of on your side of the camp and that, that agree with you and just and trying to reinforce those beliefs or are you uh, aiming this primarily at people on the other side and trying to persuade them to change their minds and his answer, I'm going to paraphrase, but his answer was basically neither. What he said was that, um, he said, I'm not under any illusion that uh, any one image that I make is going to change anybody's mind. Excuse me. But he said, I, what I believe is that we should just speak the truth. And if enough people speak the truth, and if we do it loud enough and long enough, over time, if you get enough voices all proclaiming that truth, then eventually the truth will win out and the, the, the lies will collapse. And I, I basically agree with that. I think if something is true that you, you do need to have the courage to speak it uh, and to keep speaking it if it needs to be said. Uh, and I do think, you know, obviously lies will collapse over time and truth will endure. But uh, something about it didn't quite sit right with me and I couldn't figure out why. And I've been kind of processing that and as I was as I was driving, I, I, think, I think I figured it out. And it, and I'll see if I can articulate. Basically, he's a uh, he's a caricature artist, and caricature is all about uh, exaggerating and simplifying. So, if, in other words, if you want to do a really good caricature of somebody, you try to use just a few lines to you 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 simplify the details, and then you exaggerate uh, to make really clear to try and draw out the essence of of who that what that person looks like, and. I think we also tend to do that often with our with our political discussions in America, at least right now, is that uh, in order to make a point, if you to make a really powerful point and to get attention and to get people to notice what you're saying, we tend to simplify uh, and then exaggerate what the other side is saying. And sometimes I think that's good. I think it's important to, um, you know, when something needs to be said, sometimes we need to say it loudly and we need to say it really clearly. and put it in bold with yellow highlighting and, and sometimes that means you just have to you have to trim away all the fat and boil it down to the essence of what it is uh, but the danger of that is that when you exaggerate you tend to there's a danger that you can wind up twisting something into what something that isn't really true anymore that it's so easy to take what the other side believes and and exaggerate and twist it so that you're misrepresenting and distorting something and so that you're not really speaking the truth anymore. You're speaking a half truth, uh, or sometimes a, an outright an outright lie about uh, about something. Uh, and so you, so as I'm, I've just been kind of mulling that over and thinking about. Uh, maybe these are these are maybe not great examples, but a couple examples might be on the one side. Um, uh, if you support gay marriage, then there's this idea that well, if you don't support gay marriage, then it must be because you're just hateful. Deep down inside, you're just evil and you're full of hate. 
And that's a that's a oversimplifying. That's a twisting and a distorting of what the other side believes. Uh, you know, it's not really fair. Uh, the same token on the right side. Uh, if you are pro-life, uh, there's this idea that you know abortion is is murder, uh, and so it's it's like this giant holocaust. And the people that uh, people that have abortions, they, they don't care about babies, and they they're just being all selfish, and it's all about convenience. Now, I'm I'm a very I'm very pro-life. I do think abortion is wrong. I think it's the taking of a life, but I don't think that way of looking at it is helpful. I think someone has an unplanned pregnancy. That's that's a really scary place to be, and and it can be really intimidating. And and I under and I understand. I don't I don't think it's okay to have an abortion, but I but I understand why people make that decision. Anyway, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, when is it okay to simplify to and exaggerate to make a point? And when are we just twisting and and misrepresenting and and, and sharing? You know, we're we're spreading lies instead of truth, and we're doing more harm than good. And you, know, you can you might win the battle, but you'll, you'll eventually you'll lose the war. And I think that's really what's a big part of our political discussion in America right now. Everything is so dysfunctional because everyone's trying to scream and yell and get attention and and get clicks. And there's no easier way to do that than to than to oversimplify and then twist and exaggerate. Uh, it, it gets people's emotions dr dr riled up, and getting people emotional becomes more important than than having a real discussion about the truth and trying to find what that truth is and trying to understand each other. So anyway, I put that out there for whatever that's worth. If you have a comment, if you have a thought, feel free to leave one. Uh, I'm not interested in political debate about which side is right and which side is wrong. I'm more just thinking about the overall uh, issue of how do we debate effectively but fairly. And so um, how, how do we, you know, as artists, especially if we want to create an image that has a message, how do, you, how do you simplify without exaggerating? So if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Uh, anyway, otherwise, thanks for listening, and you guys have a great day.